Since my early youth, I have, been, I have been passionate about philosophy and spirituality. I trained the mind with many classic philosophical critical studies that sought to explain the origin of the world and, universe, and of the universe, and which at the same time linked what in nature should be infinite and is inscrutable and, li and linked it to a materialistic vision of limited beings. Growing up, the belief that reality encompasses something else that we are used to thinking or imitating prompted me to elaborate and myself for myself a philosophical doctrine in its own right which could also unite traditional Christian religiosity with the idea of emptiness and astronomical physics. I believe that any human thing sooner or later in the course of its li of his life will ask questions about will ask himself questions about the original life, the original life and the place from which we come. Unfortunately, most of humanity consoles itself with few ambiguous sentences mediated by historical religions and otherwise imitated for few ways of thinking, of thinking handed down from the social context or from the family of origin. This is a real affront to our mind, which by its nature is programmed to create, to study, to imagine and to describe the most vast and incredible things, even going so far as to give an extension and an age to the same known universe. I have always been in love with, uh, in love with the powers of the mind, and I have always, be, always imagined uh, even if perhaps wrongly, that my, that my mind was much more capable than others to expand and transcend, transcend my mortal nature and incorporate the heavens, the earth, the rest of the stars and of the planets. This gives me a feeling so fulfilling, fulfilling that I often lose my sense of reality and let whole weeks go by as if they were days more and more lost in the face of the elevation potential of our thinking. I believe that my ability to depersonal depersonalize my mind and absorb entire historical periods, billions of billions of people and infinite different worlds, is largely connected to writing and, what to, and to what it represents for me. I need a solid basic philosophy, in fact, to be able to bear the weight of many hundreds of characters contained in my books. In this infinity that submerges me inside, thousands of stories already written and still to be written are sailing, and many more could arise, as in my happiest creative periods. When I was a teenager, I interpreted this anomalous expansion of my thinking as the opening of hundreds of doors in a multi-story room, with many fresh doors representing access to multiple worlds, to multiple worlds. Usually in the average human being these fresh doors are closed and do not open until our death, but in my case they all open wide and all together preceded by a dream in which I really had a feeling that the window, so the window of my soul was opened wide on the vastness of the sky and of its landscapes. I believe that if all men learn to open their minds to join themselves in, in the universal flow that causes ourselves and our planet, we would all become wiser and would not collapse daily under the weight of emotions, frustrations, and vice and crimes. 
The world of earth would seem to us very little compared to the eternal ones in which we are immersed, and in a very short time we will return forever to immensity. I always uh, live immersed uh, in this emptiness that evolves me inside because of depression, but my illness also has, has positive implications. In fact, it allows me to see and listen to things that almost men well, that most men are not access to. Among these, the historical part, part that led our species to the lowest point of the pyramid of animals, of the pyramid of animals, mm -hmm. since we are completely victims of our invasional cage and we cannot get out of it with the onset of death or madness. Looking at the night sky help, helps us to understand that we are not in relation to the universe that surrounds us, but if we are not able to abandon the limits of reason to assess the world of the non I, our existence will remain a senseless uh, earthly journey. In fact, I am increasingly convinced that the secret of happiness lies in forgetting that we are men and pretending to be part of the void of intersidereal spaces. Thank you uh, for listening to me, and I hope you will want to confide your reflections on the theme of infinity. Bye and see you soon.